Call of Duty has defined the modern first person shooter. They even put the word modern in the name of the game. But at its core, it is the same thing. It always puts you in the shoes of an actual soldier at war. And the very first Call of Duty had you storming the beaches of Normandy during D-Day, a place where the sand was covered in blood. And so for that, we're gonna make the blood and sand. The Blood and Sand is named as such for the Hearing Cherry Liqueur, which is a deep red color, and the Blended Scotch, which looks like sand. When you blend them together, it looks very much like a bloodbath on the beaches of Normandy. We're gonna start with equal parts of those two ingredients, plus some sweet vermouth and some blood orange juice. First things first, ice in the shaker. And then the first ingredient is our Scotch whiskey. Now we're using Famous Grouse, which in the craft scene is what most people are gonna use, but if you're looking to save some money, Dewar's works just as well. Pour that in there, and we're also gonna do another now ounce of the Hearing Cherry Liqueur. Look at that deep red color. That's going into our shaker too. Since these are both two pretty strong spirits, even though it's cherry flavored, it still is pretty strong. The sweet vermouth will give it some sweetness to it, and that in itself has a little bit of a sandy, bloody color. The drink will look like this when it's all said and done. Toss that in the shaker. And the last thing that we wanna to add to this is the juice of a blood orange. Um, you can use a regular orange, that works just fine if you don't have access to a blood orange. But look at that deep red juice of that blood orange. Because of that, uh, the drink's gonna be a little bit more red in color, but whatever you use, an orange or a blood orange, it's really important you use this fresh squeezed stuff, leave the carton in the fridge. We don't wanna see any Minute Maid out here at our bar. Ounce of that into the shaker. Top it off, give it a nice good shake. The blood and sand usually goes in the coupe glass, but we're putting it today in a rocks glass on ice. That's how I like it. And also when you're playing Call of Duty and you gotta get in and out of a match or you're spawning faster than you want to, you wanna be able to put that glass down fast and get back on the controller as soon as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and strain this thing now into our rocks glass. And there we have the blood and sand. And just for fun, you can go ahead and garnish it a little bit of blood orange peel right there. To give it an extra orangey flavor, go ahead and rub that on the rim. Make it taste nice and good. So here we have the blood and sand, the drink that we're gonna call the kill streak. The perfect thing to sip on when you're up with a ratio of 42 to five and you're ready to win that match. Here we go. Oh yeah, we're at war, baby. Thanks for watching, see you next time.